Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make jar covers for your recycled um, jar. Now I get these mixed fruit from Walmart and they come with a mixed fruit and different fruits and um, they cost a dollar and I thought the jars are just, are just too adorable just to throw away and use just once. So I wanted to repurpose them by making candle um, candle holders. And what I've done is I've crochet a cover for it to give it that romantic look. Check it out, it's so adorable. And you just add your tea light candle in it and it becomes an instant sensation. Um, for today's pattern, what I'm going to be showing you is a pattern for these mason jars. You can find these at your Dollar Tree store. They cost a dollar, so they are really inexpensive. And check it out. Here's the cover today that I'm going to be showing you how to make. Which is this, the same as this jar here. It's just that it's bigger and I figure that your you will have a dollar store in your area and can get the mason jar. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a four ply medium worsted yarn. This is loop, um, loop and threads from Michaels. And it's a teal color. And I'm gonna be using a G size hook, 4.25 millimeter hook. And of course some scissors and uh, blunt needle to weave in the ends. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain um, form a slip knot. Okay, then we're going to chain five. The first chain doesn't count because I usually lock that in in place. Chain five, one, two, three, four and five. We're going to connect the, connect the ends to form a circle and with a slip stitch. There you go. And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now that counts as your first DC in a chain one. So we're going to do 7 DC in the circle with a chain one space in, uh, in between. So yarn over, insert your hook in a circle, grab a loop, yarn over, go through two loops and through two loops. And that's your double crochet. Chain one and another double crochet. Chain one, double crochet, chain one again, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. See how many double crochet we have? One, two, three, four, five. We need seven. And that's our six double crochet, chain one, and the last double crochet. So let's make sure we have seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one. Now we're going to slip stitch on the third chain from the beginning. And that's how it should look like. Now the second row, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do three double crochet in a chain one space. Let me pull some of my yarn here. One more double crochet. And now we're going to chain one. We're going to do another three double crochet in the chain one space. The next one. Chain one. 
and you're going to repeat that until we finish this round you want to do 3dc and then chain one space chain one 3dc chain one 3dc again oops chain one 3dc chain one 3dc chain one 3dc and chain one now to complete this row we're going to slip stitch on that first double crochet okay so the next step is we're going to single crochet in each stitch including the chain one space right here single crochet whoops in each stitch and including in the chain one space and then single crochet again and we'll continue that and I will see you at the end of this row okay I am at the end of my row here and I'm going to slip stitch on the chain one in the beginning of the row and now we're going to work on the fourth row the fourth row is DC in each stitch we're going to chain three that will act as your first DC and we're going to work in the back stitch so this is the back and this is the front stitch usually we'll insert it like that but I'm gonna work on the back stitch only and the reason for that is it will give you this nice ridge that you see like this and that's what we're looking for by working in the back stitch only so let's do that so we're going to do DC in each stitch so I'm just going to pull some on my yarn here so we'll, I'll see you in the end of this round I'm going to continue to work a double crochet in each stitch okay I'm, uh, I'm at the end of my row here I've just completed my last double crochet and now I'm gonna slip stitch on the third chain from the beginning of the row okay now we're going to chain six one two three four five six and that will count as your first double crochet and chain three space now we're going to double crochet on the fourth chain we're going to skip three three stitches one two three and then double crochet in the next one chain three one two three skip three one two three and double crochet in the next again chain three skip three double crochet in the next skip three double crochet in the next skip three double crochet in the next one chain three skip three double crochet in the next Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. One, two, three, chain three, and skip three, and double crochet in the next. Chain three, 
one, two, three, skip three, and double crochet in the next. Must have skipped. Oh, there it is. See, I only skipped two on that. <laughs> uh, we gotta go back. Okay. One, two, three, and double crochet in the next one. Chain three again. One, two, three, double crochet in the next. One, two, three, and double crochet in the next. Now we're here in the end of the row. We're going to slip stitch on the third chain from the beginning. One, two, three, and slip stitch right there. Now the seam, the seam is going to give you this two, um, it looks like a two double crochet, but that's fine. And that's only for the seam. Okay, so the next row, we're going to chain three, chain six, I mean, one, two, three. And we're going to double crochet on the double crochet. See, we're going to skip these three stitches and we're going to double crochet on the double crochet. And that will give us the fishnet pattern. So I'm going to continue this until I have four rows. So I will see you at the end of my four rows. Okay, so I've done four rows of the um, fishnet-like pattern. And I'm going to measure my jar, my pattern to the jar and make sure that it's the right height. Because sometimes with different weight yarn, you might have to do another row because see like this, this is um, Super Saver Red Heart and this is Loop and Threads. Um, so what I'm going to do is maybe do another row of, of the chain three double crochet pattern. So let's go ahead and do another one. So instead of four rows, we're going to do five. So it's good to have the jar with you before you even attempt this pattern. So you can measure your work. Going to chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next, chain three, double crochet in the next, chain three, double crochet in the next one, and we're on the last one. One, two, three, double crochet in the next double crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch on the third chain from the beginning of the row. There you go. So let's go ahead and um, measure it. And it fits perfect. So now we're going to do the edging. The edging is going to be um three double crochet in the chain three space i'm sorry three single crochet in the chain three space so chain one to begin three double crochet i mean three single crochet i'm sorry three single crochet in the chain three space and then on the double crochet is also single crochet. So let's do that again. Three double cro three single crochet in the chain three space and then single crochet on the double crochet.
three single crochet and then another single crochet on that double crochet okay I'm gonna continue that until I reach the end okay I am here on the end now I'm gonna slip stitch to complete the pattern and I'm sl slip stitching on that chain one in the beginning of the row okay now I'm going to use well I'm gonna go ahead and insert my cover on the jar I'm not gonna remove the lid okay so now what I'm gonna do with this um yarn is I'm gonna weave it in in a pattern and I'm using this blunt needle just gonna weave it in tight As you can see I'm pulling it so um so I, I still have a little bit left I'm pulling it so it'll hug the uh, the jar so now I'm gonna skip this see this is where it ended see if it focus Okay, just want to make sure that it focuses. So I'm going to skip this right here. And I'm going to insert my needle at the next, the next one. And because my thread is small, I mean, it's not long enough. I have to, oops, do that again. That's why you really need to trim your your tail yarn a little bit longer. And there you go. And that's your cover done. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And if you want the written pattern of this, it's on my blog and the blog link is in the video description below. And don't forget to thumbs up uh, and subscribe. Thank you for watching Handmade by Haniya.